I don't know, maybe Moriarty's right and you're just a junkie. I have no idea if she's a junkie or not. She doesn't look like a junkie. She doesn't act like a junkie. So, yeah, I'll just tell him you're gone. I'm not going to take, your, take your stuff. Yeah, sure. I can't believe it. You hardly even know me. I know, but that's just the kind of guy I am. Don't ever double cross me, though, or I'll take a baseball bat to your head. Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout, Tale of Two Wastelands, with the Capital Punishment mod list. I am the Bearded OG, and we should turn a light on. Uh, all right, so if you guys uh, didn't catch the last episode, uh, we played the vanilla game uh, just to go through the tutorial uh, in the 101 Vault stuff, um, because when you start... Uh, capital punishment it starts you right here so this is where the game actually starts um all right so schematics rocket launcher nice okay so when we another man's treasure so when we get uh to here and try and go out the door that's when it's going to want us to do all of our stats and things um i also spent quite a bit of time going through uh various tweaks here um there's a ton of them um, for, you know, all kinds of different things and, you know, just kind of reading through and deciding what I wanted to do and what I didn't, but it r really allows a whole lot of customization, uh, which is very cool, but that's just way too much stuff for me to go through with you guys on camera. So, um, all right. So anyway, let's go ahead and open the door and, uh, everything we said here now is going to be the real deal. So we're just going to call ourselves OG cause that's who we are. Um, and we are going to go through this. We are going to be a male and we'll stay Caucasian. And then for presets, um, let's see here. Just kind of look through these real quick. Um, that one's got a pretty good, pretty good beard. Um, at the age options here yeah we'll go maybe we'll go with that okay preset 15 is what that is hairstyle uh, we're gonna go with buzzsaw and hair color we're gonna go with bleached I think we want bleached or platinum gold steel that's kind of a nice gray beard look. What is the, uh, uh what was the other one? Uh, chocolate brown bleached. Um, okay, do I like bleached better or do I like steel better? They look almost exactly the same, so we're just going to go with bleached. It only, it only affects this side of my beard, though, not this side. <laughs> That's got to be a, a lighting thing. Okay, and then uh, this is, in fact, the beard we're going to use. It's the, the fullest beard that the game offers. Um, and so, yeah, it's the closest we're going to get. Uh, it doesn't really let us uh, get real white, though, unless we... Yeah, because if we go too far to the right or left on any of these, it's going to be too green or too blue or too red. Um, we can't really... I don't think we can really get it white, you know. So somewhere right about in the middle, we'll just yeah, we'll just stick with bleach. That's that's about as good as that's gonna get. Okay, so that's what our dude looks like. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, and now let's do our special, our attributes. Uh, we have 26 points that we can assign. All right, so um, I. We definitely can't ignore strength, um, both for carrying stuff and for melee weapons, because especially early on, you know, we're gonna we're gonna run out of ammo probably, so we need a backup weapon. So I want to be fairly proficient with melee weapons. So let's maybe go seven there. Uh, this is explosives, lock pick, and energy weapons, um, and red compass markings, which are threats. 
Let's maybe give that three points. Endurance is going to be good for health and resistances and survival and stuff like that. Um, that's going to be pretty important too because, again, we are playing this on hardcore mode, so this is not going to be easy. Uh, charisma, uh, for, for, for this particular playthrough, um, I don't think I'm going to worry too much about that, at least not right now. Intelligence... Let's see, science and repair. Repair and medicine, we want a decent amount of intelligence for that. So let's make that five. Agility, I really want to pour it on because um, I, want to, I want to use uh, a lot. You know, we're going to use guns a lot, right? That's going to be kind of our main thing. Um, and that, that leaves up all of our points. Okay, we should probably... Um... Repair and medicine skills, yeah. We should probably go down with those two. Give ourselves a little bit of luck and a little bit of charisma, just so they're not like at one. Okay, so I think that's gonna be our build. Okay, let's we're done with that. Um, our traits. Okay, so basically most of these give us something good and something bad. And so what we're going to do, I think, is we're going to go with uh, Idealog. So what this basically means is if we keep our Karma on the plus side, then we're, we're better. We have better experience, more skill points, that sort of thing. Um, but if our Karma, you know, drops and we go evil, then we suffer for it. Okay, so this is kind of the good guy trait. Um, I also want skilled, so we, we, we lose 10% from experience gained, but that's kind of offset a little bit by this, but it gave, basically gives us five points to every skill, okay? And then the other one I want, I believe, is trigger discipline. So we, we have a slower rate of fire, but we're more accurate, which I think is going to be more important. Um, especially in the beginning. Okay, so those are the three traits that we're going to start with. Okay, um, let's click done. Tag skills. This allows us to add another 10 points on top of everything else. So obviously we're going to do guns for sure. Um, and we should probably do melee weapons for sure. And then I'm thinking probably survival it increases hit points and we can also create you know we can cook food at campfires um, because survival is definitely going to be a thing especially early on okay so that's what we're going to do so this is a fairly offensive build here that's the way that I would like to play it okay I think we're done let's go ahead and exit vault 101 <laughs> That's that picture in the on the goat test that they showed. We we elected to cut the guy's leg off. <laughs> All right. Oh man, this is cool. Now I did play for about an hour, um, just to make sure you know stuff was working and all that, and I didn't have really any major problems at all. I did. We did. I did crash after about an hour, which isn't bad considering we have around 500 mods going on right now. So. Not too bad. Okay. Um, so let's open up this and let's go to data and quests. And this, I, I think these are like bobblehead locations. Um, but we want to, I mean, we're going to stick to the main storyline, at least for now. That That's not to say we won't go off and do random stuff. We will. But, um... We're going to kind of stay focused on the main storyline, at least to start with here. And I'm thinking, um, thinking I might want to go almost directly to Megaton to start. Um, let's see. We also need to go here. Let's go to weapons. We have throwing knives and a tire iron. Okay, so the mod's just given us that. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to... Assign the tire iron to one. That's our melee slot. Let's put 
the uh, the 10 meter uh, 10, mil 10 millimeter in two and that one in three and I guess we'll put those in four do we have what kind of aid do we have okay we have three stim packs we'll put those in seven bandages and six and for now I guess we can put doctor's bags in eight and we just have the vault 101 jumpsuit which sucks but it's all we have at the moment We got some pre-war money, too. All right. So let's see. One is our tire iron. Okay, just kind of getting used to the, that action. You are too inexperienced to use this weapon. What? Oh, that's bullshit. Um, okay, that's actually one of the tweaks, and now I'm regretting that I turned it on. <laughs> what, how much experience do I need to use it? Strength plus four. Um, I don't know. I don't know where it's showing me what experience I need to use it, but we kind of need that weapon. And I mean, anybody can fire a 10 millimeter pistol. That doesn't mean they're going to be really good with it, but not being able to fire it at all is kind of an artificially imposed BS thing. So I'm turning that shit off. <laughs> uh, so I just have to find it in the tweaks here. Weapon requirements matter. This is the one. Ignore strength requirement, ignore non heavy strength requirement, ignore skill requirement. Um okay, so I mean let's let's think about this for a second. If we pick up a fat boy right now and we're not strong enough to hold the thing up to fire it. You know, for those of you who don't know, by the way, a fat boy is a, like a mini nuke launcher. That kind of makes sense. But I don't think, you know, if you're not really skilled in a weapon, again, that doesn't mean you shouldn't be able to use it. Um, so I'm going to tell it to ignore the skill requirement. Um, ignore not. Okay, ignore strength requirement for weapons that aren't of type two-hand launcher or two-hand handle. Yeah, I think I'm going to ignore that one too. Ignore strength requirement for all weapons. Ignore strength requirement for weapons that aren't of type two hand launcher. Ignore requirements for grenades, mines. Yeah, I mean, you should be able to use the. You know what? Fuck it. I'm turning this damn thing off. <laughs> it, it's too restrictive. Okay. Ah, shit. Now I got to restart the game. All right. Let me um, let me do this. Uh, I definitely want to save. Uh, Let's do a new save here. Okay, and then I got to restart the game for that to take effect. I think, right? Because, yeah, it's still not going to let me do it. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Now we can equip the, the 10 millimeter. And we can aim down the sights too, which is amazing. Um, All right, now I have this... I have this weapon wheel, but I, I haven't been able to figure out how to assign... Uh, an item to the weapon wheel. So I'm going to have to, you know, read up on that some more. Anyway, all right, let's go ahead and head on out. Uh, right down the road here is Springvale. Um, we are going to loot as much stuff as, well, we're going to loot every single thing under the sun, but we're going to loot a lot of things, especially if, you know, if we find something that's actually going to be useful to us. Um... And one of the things we can do, you know, like picking up those those tin cans, we can actually break those down and use the metal for them for crafting. So that, you know, they are useful. Okay. Um, I happen to know just from my test playthrough that we're going to run into... Oh, oh shit. What the hell's going on up there? Uh, there's, a, there's a couple of feral dogs... Or there were, you know, last time I came through here anyways, up that way. Um, okay, so we're going to grab 
Anything that has like the hammer and saw next to it, uh, that means it's used for crafting. And I think this stuff is just junk, which we might be able to, to sell. I'm a little, a little bit concerned about whatever was going on up that way. Uh, what was that? Oh, we just discovered Springfield. Okay. Darts and a metro ticket. Okay. Let's get let's go over here for a second. Um here, I need to Yeah, I want to change that to sprint mode. I'm going to have to get used to how some of the controls work. Okay. Here, let's look in here for a minute and go to apparel. So this will give us a damage reduction of three. Um, and unarmed five. Oh, it even has like a little, um, you know, mask looking effect to it, which is realistic. Okay. That's cool. All right. Nice. Okay. So let's just kind of loot some of these houses here. And we'll just keep picking shit up until we don't have room. Merc Charmer outfit. Is that like uh, armor? Oh shit, that gives us damage resistance of 10. And guns and melee weapons. Okay. Already we found some armor improvements, you know, from what we had before. That's what we look like. <laughs> We'll take it. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, I see one of the dogs over there. Let's pop over to... That's not something I can pick up, is it? Let's see if there's anything in here we can loot. Bobby pins, nice. We're going to need those for sure for lock picking. You know what? I gotta switch back to this mode. This is kind of like walk fast mode, but if you press the shift button, then you walk slow. It's just it's kind of weird how it works. But if you do the other mode, then you walk slow unless you press shift, but then you sprint fast. Um, faster than whoops, than this mode. So it's just kind of weird. This is a little smoother for walking around though. All right, there's nothing in that trash bin. A little bit of stutter going on there. Door to a small ranch. The little asterisk that you see is one of the tweaks, you know, next to the name. It, it means I haven't been in here yet. Oh. Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? Did Moriarty send you? Uh... Who's Moriarty? Colin Moriarty, the owner of Moriarty Saloon in Megaton. That sack of shit is convinced that I'm some crazy junkie who stole money from him. Um, slow down. Tell me your side. I deal with junkies. Hand over. Yeah, tell me your side of the story. Look, I used to work for that slob, doing, you know, favors for guys. Mm-hmm. Well, I got sick and tired of it. I told Moriarty I'm taking my share of the caps and leaving. I even slept with the pig to seal the deal. Okay. Next morning, he tells me I couldn't leave. So I bolted. I took my money and ran. Sounds like he uh, went back on his, uh, his agreement with you. Now, he's branded me a thief and a junkie and sent his cronies to find me. I guess I need a new hiding place. I'm not one of his cronies. Uh, you know what? Keep your caps and I'll tell Moriarty you're gone. Look, just give me some of your caps and I'll tell him you're gone. I don't know. Maybe Moriarty's right and you're just a junkie. I have no idea if she's a junkie or not. She doesn't look like a junkie. She doesn't act like a junkie. So, yeah. I'll just tell him you're gone. I'm not going to take, your, take your stuff. Yeah, sure. I can't believe it. 
You hardly even know me. I know, but that's just the kind of guy I am. Don't ever double cross me, though, or I'll take a baseball bat to your head. Thanks, kid. You watch yourself out there. Who are you calling a kid? I'm about 40 years older than you. Actually, she does look kind of old. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, we're not going to steal her stuff. Hey, be more careful. What did I do? Ooh. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind some of those bullets, but duh. That'll give us bad karma, and that'll actually hurt us because of our, our perks that we took. Okay. Um. Oh, we've discovered the Springvale sewer. We did? Where the hell is it at? I don't even see it. Um. Here, let's go check this mailbox. Nothing. Okay. A letter from Vault Tech. Let's go to the data. No, that would be actually an item, I think, right? Miscellaneous. Collectibles. Other. Hmm. Okay, where the hell did that go? I figured it would be under other. Maybe it maybe it is under data. Miscellaneous. Oh yeah, here we go. Congratulations on your family's recent inclusion in the Vault 101 community. You'll find outlined uh, in your application materials a full review of rules and procedures. And Vault Tech provides clothing. All residents must attend orientation. In the event of all activation, there will be a drill, and you got to run and get in there quick before they close the door. Vault Tech looks forward to manipulating you and your family for the rest of your life in the next 200 years. Yada yada. Okay. That's our schematics. Well, oh. Oh. here we are. Nestled all safe and snug inside Vault 101. It's so cold down here. Colder still with Catherine gone. Oh, Catherine. I so wish you were here with me. How the hell am I supposed to do this by myself? Live down in this hole. Take care of our child. But this is our life now. So I guess I'd better get used to it. The overseer who runs the place is an overbearing bully. But I've dealt with worse. Hmm. Okay, so that does seem to confirm from our father that we did not, we were not born in that vault. No, from Dad. Hold on, Jonas. I need to record this first. I, I don't really know how to tell you this. I hope you'll understand, but I know you might be angry. I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things could have gone wrong, and there's really no telling how the Overseer will react when he finds out. It's best if he can blame everything on me. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your own. Maybe someday things will change and we can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. God knows life in the vault isn't perfect, but at least you'll be safe. Just knowing that will be enough to keep me going. Don't mean to rush you, Doc, but I'd feel better if we got this over with. Okay, go ahead. Goodbye. I love you. Wow, okay. Oh, this was that poem that we got for our birthday. Uh, it's a bunch of bullshit about the overseer. Okay. Interesting. All right. Um, let's see here. Let's see. We need to move. The, uh, wait. Actually, what direction do we need to move in? Let's go to data and world map. Oh, okay. So we got to go. Oh, wait. What's that? Oh, no, that's the vault we just came out of. We have to go south. Okay. So, um, but I want to, um, before we... There's one of those dogs. If we go... Oh, that's how you we get into the sewer. Oh, interesting. Okay, I don't really want to go down there right now. Um, 
I think we need to try and deal with these dogs. And then this Springvale garage is actually a, a player home. So we could, if we decided to, um, hang out in there. I'm, I'm, I'm a little concerned about these dogs. I'm not going to lie. This is, remember, we were playing on hardcore mode and they could very easily kill me. So I guess the first thing is, is can we potentially get the attention of just one of them and not both of them at the same time? Um, let's go ahead and sneak. We don't really have a good long range option. I can't. There he is. Let's see if we can pull him over here. I don't even think I'm hitting him. Well, I guess we are, yeah, because it does show a, a, a damage thing. Okay, this gun sucks. <laughs> it's terrible. Um, it's in bad condition and we're using junk ammo, so that's part of it. This is why I wanted to take that perk that gave us more accuracy, though. Because, see, we've already got him whittled down quite a bit. And I don't even think they really know where we are. What? Why do you keep doing that? All right. Let's go ahead and... I see... Uh, I see something else. Oh, I think that's just the Nuka-Cola machine. Okay. Shit, we only have six rounds left in this in this gun. Um Oh yeah, there we go. Ha 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 sucker. We got him. Okay, his dog hide we can use for crafting. Alright, let's go. Let's put this away. Liquid nitrogen, some Nuka-Cola and Qu uh, Nuka-Cola Quantum. Oh, wow. Okay. 10 millimeter rounds, antiseptic, a Colt 6520 pistol, Robco jumpsuit, and some casings. Um, all right. Let's take a look at the Colt. So that does uh, 4167. Yeah, that doesn't do as much damage as our normal 10 millimeter pistol. I wish the I wish we would have gotten some. Oh, okay, so we got 10 millimeter. The what we what we were using was hollow points. Okay, and then the apparel was the Robco suit. Oh, that gives us a repair bonus. Okay. Well, we should hang on to that so when we repair stuff we can wear it. So if I, if I pull this out, wait, no. And then I double tap R, I switch to the normal 10 meter ammo. Where does it tell me though? Oh, okay. I guess it just pops up in that little screen tip. Gotcha. Okay. Oh. Here to pick up a few of my marvelous toys? Yeah. Ah, fellow student on the path of the wasteland. Welcome to my humble caravan. Please relax, for we are in a place of safety. I don't know I'd say that, if I'd say that. The type of safety that can only be ensured by an abundance of weaponry, both wicked and awesome. <laughs> all of which can be yours for the right price. 
Okay. Um. So here's the thing too. Fast travel. The default fast travel is disabled in the hardcore uh, version of the mods here. So, but what we can do is we can fast travel by paying, you know, like a caravan dude or there's other methods to do it, but we have to pay for it. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm here to buy. Actually, I'm here it's to sell. It's my pleasure to offer hot death in a variety of exciting flavors. Hot death. Take your pick. Okay. I'm going to sell you some darts. I'm going to sell you some beer and some whiskey. Uh, I think... I don't know if I can use this to repair that. I don't think that I can, but we should... We should maybe consider that. Throwing knives, tire iron, hockey mask, vault. Here, let's sell you the pre-war money. And I don't know why in the hell I have a metro ticket or why I would want one, so. And then this is just, I believe this is just junk. Because it doesn't have the crafting icon next to it. Well, that'll get us 14 caps. Um... Liquid nitrogen. I think we need this to repair like Nuka Cola machines and things like that. All right. Now, do you have. Oh, yeah, you do have ammo. What we need is 10 millimeter armor piercing hollow points. Tell you what. Let's. Um, okay, so that, that, that means that's going to cost two caps for 25 or wait, what does that mean? It's going to cost me 25 for one. Oh, okay. So I, I can buy up to seven from him. There we go. Okay. So we, in, we increased our. Rounds. Why? Why are, did those not stack? I don't know. All right, there we go. Thanks. Tell me about your trade caravan. See the world's a dangerous and unbalanced place. So I realized the only way to bring peace was to make sure that everyone could be dangerous. <laughs> sure, that's wonderful logic. So, with a little bit of help from the mayor of Canterbury Commons. I set up this caravan. I can't give the weapons away for free, but I come close. All right, I want to. Until we meet again, keep yourself alive out there. You too, bud. All right, I want to look at something real quick. So if we go to, all right, it doesn't give me a repair option, which I think means then that we can't use this to repair. How much will you buy here to shop? Yeah. How much will you buy that uh It's my pleasure to offer hot death pistol. in a variety of exciting flavors. All right, so he'll buy Take it for 26 caps and that will allow us then to purchase another 26 caps worth of 10 mil ammo. There we go. A pleasure doing business. Keep your skin. See you. Hmm. Is there somebody else around? Oh, his guard. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to I'm see you. I'm just here to protect the merchandise. All right, you protect the merchandise. Good luck to you. All right. Anyway, let's see here. We, we got to get moving here. Um, what's this? Oh yeah, hacksaw's duffel bag. All right. We're gonna we're gonna do something with that here in just a little bit. Let's see if there's anything else over here we can loot. Nothing in there, nothing in there. Okay, let's go inside of here. And um, in here there is... Axos journal entries. Here, let me look at something. What did we get from his duffel bag? Oh, this is this must be an an ammo type, probably for like some kind of freeze weapon. Hmm. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we got from his duffel bag. We're in pretty good shape so far. That's going to change, though. <laughs> yes, indeed, it will. Okay, so he's got these. Um, he's got these journal entries, and that I think that gives us information about using this place. This is the the bathroom. And if we go in here, there is a workbench somewhere. What I would really like is a place that we could... There's the workbench. A place that we could store some things. Okay, so the bent tin can. Recipes. Oh, we can turn those just into tin cans. Okay. For a, a value of one. Dog hide belt. We can make one of those. Break down the doctor's bag. No, we don't want to do that. We're gonna because we need that to heal ourselves. After burner gum. <laughs> okay. So it looks like that's all we can do right now. Weapon repair kit. Duct tape, electronics, wonder glue, wrench, scrap metal. Good to know. Okay. Craft items at a working bench. Yada, yada, yada. He's got a motorcycle over here. Let's go to data and to quests. Um, miscellaneous hacksaws journal entry. Those fucking assholes. The can that Cantelli bitch caught me stealing from her precious store. Next thing I know, that uppity little shit Harkness is marching me off the ship at gunpoint. No matter that I did all the shitty odd jobs that the rest of the bastards pretend they're too good for, it didn't count for squat when they told me to leave and never come back. Fuck it. Guess I'll head for Megaton. I'm sure they could use another mechanic. I, there I hear they're having problems with their water supply. You know, maybe this was for the best. I'd rather live next to a live bomb than with these uppity pricks anyways. Okay. How come that doesn't show as red? I don't know. Jackpot. So get this. I convinced Wolfgame to let me tag along with his caravan until we got to Megaton. We got to the ruins near town and I broke off to see if there's any scrap I could salvage from Springvale. Most stuff was already picked clean, but I can usually salvage more than the average wastelander. Except I didn't find salvage. I found a key. With a key ring that reads Springvale Garage. This is it. Nobody's ever been able to break open the place since the locks were so damn strong. I'm the first, probably since the war, and yeah, the inside is a total mess, but the structure is solid. I managed to clear an old workbench, so at least I've got some place to work when cleaning up the place and salvaging the debris. I need to get some spare tools for the cleanup. I got my own set, but I'm running low on Wonder Glue, and I'm going to need a sledgehammer to break down some of this heavier junk before it can be removed. Right, I think we can use that workbench to kind of fix this place up, too. So it's kind of like Fallout 4 mechanic there all right where there's good news and bad news bad news is nothing works main power's out no water supply and the inside's a mess the basement door's open and i was able to poke around but i tripped some fail safe on the way out and the door locked behind me and won't open until the main power is restored good news is that i think uh given some time and parts i can fix everything to fix the power i need fuses old fuses are fried but can't be replaced the water pump and the boiler seem okay but won't work without power and the inlet valves were completely rusted closed had to use a crowbar to get them out with some work, this place could be a very safe and secure little outfit. I can easily run a trading post repair shop here with all the caravans to and from Megaton. Just need to find the right stuff to get it running. The old workbench is going to come in handy too. I can use it to build upgrades for the place. Got sick. Can't work. I feel weak. Think I'm getting better, but I'm on my ass for a couple of days at least. Trying to use my time wisely. Plan stuff, even if I can't do anything physical. Managed to trade some scrap to caravanners for some supplies and leads on where to find parts. There's a power substation to the northwest that might have some industrial fuses. Uh, okay, so we've got to remember that northwest. Industrial high-pressure valves are harder. That would have to be from someplace that dealt with old city, with the old city's water grid. A trader mentioned there was a sewer waste station nearby that I could try, but he wouldn't tell me more without more caps. I need storage, too. Could probably salvage old lockers from the Super Duper Mart, but it's full of raiders. Getting somewhere managed to get out of Springvale ruins today. There's some stuff that nobody else would be interested in but could be useful with power. An old fridge, an electric cooker, 
Even a bed frame so I can ditch this shitty mattress, but it all needs to be repaired. Been thinking about the basement again, too. There's something weird down there. There was soil down there and pots and planters that looks... Uh, that the lights looked like they were, they were broad spectrum, too, and the water pipes had holes punched through them in places. I spent enough time in the Rivet City Science Lab to know a hydroponics farm when I see one. Given how tight the place was locked up and given the setup in the basement, I think this place might have been used as a drug farm. If I get power and water online, and if I can find seeds or some shit, I might be able to grow stuff. That would be very lucrative. All right, time to get to work. Maniac Raiders nearly took my head off today. I left to see if I could make for that power station, but those bastards spotted me and started taking pot shots. I think I lost them, and they probably don't expect anyone to be in the garage. There's a radio set here, busted, but easily fixable with some spare components. If I repaired them, I might be able to get the trade caravans to come here rather than go to them. They have guards, so raiders probably won't mess with them. There's fucking dogs and ants everywhere, too. I have to be careful. If the raiders weren't in that school, I'd try to break in and see if there's another spare workbench that I can use to make ammo. Then at least I could defend myself effectively, but they're crawling all over the place. I hear there's a doctor in Big Town, and those guys are even more miserable than I am. They might have some medical supplies. I can trade for maybe even convince some of them to help me try to break into the school. Yeah, I'll go tomorrow before sunrise. Just got to watch out for wildlife. Okay, so lots of reading there. There's a lot of reading in this game too, by the way. Uh, if you guys don't want to listen to all the reading, just, you know, fast forward. Okay, the workbench in the garage can be used to perform certain actions, such as cleaning up debris or building certain upgrades. These actions take time to perform, which is shown in the workbench menu. The exact duration will vary depending upon the action. Very cool. All right, nice. Um, okay, so he was saying there might be a hydroponics lab down here, but the door is inaccessible, so we can't do anything about that right now. Activate main power. Not going to work for now. None of that stuff's lootable. All right, well, it doesn't look like we can really do anything with this place now. Um, we can come back and fix it up later uh, if we decide to do so. But let's go ahead and continue on here. Okay, it looks like the game just saved for us. What is that? Pick mutt fruit. Oh, nice. I think those will give us radiation if we eat them. Mutt fruit. Yeah, we'll get two rads if we eat them. But it does help with food and water, though. In fact, all of this stuff will give us radiation except for the MREs. All right, let's go ahead and uh, work our way towards Megaton. Uh, we do know that at some point we might want to come back here and try and get into that school. Because apparently there's a bunch of raiders in there, and... That would give us locksmith's reader. Oh, is that going to give us locksmithing skill? Data, miscellaneous. Okay, hold on a sec. Is that an item? Oh, yeah, books and magazines. Plus five to lockpicking. Nice. Nice. I think. Did we did we just get plus five to lockpicking? I think we did. How do we stats? Oh here we go. Okay, skills. Yeah. Is that a is that a temporary thing? No, I think that what's in the parentheses is based upon the gear that we're wearing. A cellar door that requires a key. All right. Did we... Did we already look in this place? I think I did. Yeah, I think we did. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and just get moving over to Megaton then. going to be that way. And uh, maybe we'll come back and see if we can get into that school later. Like I said, we're probably going to run into some giant ants or maybe some more dogs out here, so we got to be careful. Be 
Is there anything in here? Uh, no, I don't want to drink that water because we'll get radiation. Not until we get desperate anyways. Let's make sure this is ready to go. What's going on over there? Uh, I don't think that thing looks. Further than ever before. You want to take this to the next level? Purchase a premium travel membership. Purchase a what? Eye transporter. You've encountered your first transporter. You can pay transporters to bring you to nearby destinations within a certain radius, and you can take uh, and can take you even further once you purchase the premium travel pass. Mole holes have also been added. Mole holes can be traveled to and from, but they must be discovered prior before doing so. Mole holes are scattered throughout the wasteland. The easiest way to find a mole hole is by being observant. Mole holes give off a greenish smoke signal to make them easier to find. If you're in the Mojave Wasteland and want the premium travel pass, head to Pueblo Manifesto and speak with the Elder. This one's best experience with fast travel disabled. Okay, so... Hmm, interesting. Okay, so we need to look for green smoke. A thousand caps? Damn! Please do not attempt to engage this machine in conversation. Right. Okay. Oh. You're dead, right? Okay. Tired of getting mugged by raiders. Tired of spending your precious time wandering. Okay, so yeah, we need to look out for green smoke for mole holes. I guess I guess that robot killed these guys. Deputy Weld. Have yourself a nice visit, partner. Thank you, partner. Can I pick this? crops or is this going to be stealing? Oh, yep, that's going to be stealing. All right, we don't want to get off on the wrong foot on our very first trip to Megaton. Mickey! Oh, thank God. Someone new. I need water, please. Water. What is this place? Some kind of city? It's Megaton. Have you been living in a hole or something? Everyone's heard of Megaton. They have plenty of water in there, but they only give it to residents or people who can pay for it. Okay. Um. Will any water do? I've been drinking this irradiated shit, and I, I can't do it. I just throw it up now. I need purified water, please. Uh, do I have here? Have this purified water? You, are you serious? I, I can't offer anything in exchange. You know. Uh, you know what? I, I can just have I can just have it for free? Sure, you can have it for free. What? Just give it to you? Hell no. Really? Seriously? Oh my god. I might regret that later. Thank you. <laughs> if I Thank get really so thirsty. Much. I'll never forget this. But you know, one good deed, right? Purified water removed. Hey, we gained karma. See, there you go. There you go. Um, this is a Pony Express box, so I can put shit in there, and then it's kind of like the, an Ender box in Minecraft, basically. Need some grub? All right, we are here in Megaton. I'll be damned. Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims. Lucas Sims. Town sheriff and mayor, too, when the need arises. Okay. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Okay. Nice town you got here, Sheriff. It's a pleasure to meet you. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're going to get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Right. Message received. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? I'm looking for my father. Let's discuss this bomb. I can use some directions. You know anything about the area? Tell me more about your town. Um, yeah, I'm looking for my dad. Nope. 
Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Uh, what's the deal with the bomb? What about it? Don't you think someone should disarm it? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. Oh. <laughs> and hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Okay. Why? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Um... I... I can see about maybe trying to do it for you at some point in the future, but not right now. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Okay. Uh, I don't need a reward. I couldn't sleep a night knowing you could all die. 100 caps, all right, I'll take a look at it. Let's talk about something else. Um... I mean, we can't give everything away for free. Uh, okay, yep, it's a deal. 100 caps. Great. Go ahead and see what you can do. Just be careful. Okay. Now, um, let's see. Uh, how about, tell me about your town. What do you want to know? Does the town have a doctor? Yep, he's a bit cranky, but he means well. Just make sure there's something actually wrong with you before you bother him. Gotcha. Okay. You'll find him down in the plaza at the bottom of the hill, across the way from the Brass Lantern. Across from the Brass Lantern. Got it. Where can I get a drink? Sure. Head over to Moriarty's for spirits. Or, if you want something to eat, head over to the Brass Lantern. Okay. Moriarty's for drinks and Brass Lantern for food. Let's talk about something else. All right. Um... Know anything about the area outside of Megaton? It's called the Wasteland for a reason. But there are settlements, too, spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To the south, you've got Rivet City. But don't bother going to D.C. The place is a war zone. Okay, Rivet City and D.C. Um... Uh, yeah, give me some directions. Sure thing, partner. Where's the weapons dealer? You'll probably want to see Moira at Crater Side Supply. Moira at Crater Side Supply. She sells Supply. some weapons. Okay. Make some too, from what I hear. Her place is down by the crater. Gotcha. Um, is there a bar? Didn't we already ask him that? Sure is. Moriarty's. The entrance is on the top level, opposite the main gate. Top level, opposite Just main gate. Just be careful. Moriarty is not your oh, friend. Oh, that's the same no guy we, what he may that say. that lady that we so saw out there was telling us about. His lies. And for God's sake, don't trust the man. All right, so we've had two people now tell us that that dude's a scoundrel. I think we should probably listen to him. Um, I need some equipment. Where's the nearest general Moira store? Moira sells all kinds of stuff at her place. Crater side. Oh, supply. so we go to Moira for that, Take too. Take a guess where it is. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, where can I rent a bed? Up at Moriarty's at the south end of town. Talk to Nova. She'll help you out. Nova. Okay. And he's ar he already told our us. The clinic is down in the crater by the bomb. By the bomb. church is a little rough around the edges. Okay. Let's talk about something else. Um. No, we, we, we have terrible speech because I didn't put any points in that. Okay. We'll talk to you later, Sheriff. Don't fool around with that bomb. That's good advice. Don't fool around with atomic bombs unless you know what you're doing. It's good advice for everybody. All right, you guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save the game here, and we're going to wrap up. Uh, episode two. Um, these episodes will probably be at least hour long episodes. There's just so we, we got so much to do um, in this game and it's going to take us a long time to get through it. And so, yeah, expect at least hour long episodes at, on, on the average. Okay. So anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and we will pick up right where we left off in the next episode. If you found yourself enjoying this video, you know what to do. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.